Dr. Cherie Lucas Anthony. I'm a dermatologist here at the Rendon Center. I've been in practice at the Rendon Center for about eight years. Today I thought we'd talk a little bit about alopecia. Alopecia is when you have thinning hair or hair loss. Some people think of alopecia as having an entire patch of hair missing, but that's not the case. You can have hair shedding and you can have hair thinning. That's also alopecia. There are many different types of hair loss or alopecia. In dermatology, we look at them and classify them into either scarring, which means that you've lost some hair follicles, and there's damage to the scalp, so the hair doesn't usually grow back. Or you can have non-scarring alopecia, where the hair is either thinned with time or you're getting too much shedding. There's also an autoimmune problem, which many of you have probably heard about, called alopecia areata. That's when you get the classic patches of hair loss. So when we think about alopecia, what I like to tell people is if you're at all concerned, it's important to see your dermatologist right away. Because if you have something where the hair is thinning, and you're getting scarring in the scalp, you want to have it addressed right away so that you can save your hair. If you're concerned that you may be shedding hair or having hair loss, we talked about the fact that you want to come to the dermatologist right away. What we will do is we'll ask you some questions like, do you have any medical problems? What medications are you taking? And how long have you noticed the alopecia? We're also going to take a look in your scalp. And in a minute, I'll walk you through how we do a hair exam. I'd now like to demonstrate what you might have done at a scalp exam. I like to tell everybody that looking through the scalp should be a normal part of your yearly skin exam. Usually, we'll start in the center and then just part the hair and look through your scalp during your yearly scalp exam. We we'll might take it a little step further when we're looking for alopecia. So first what I do is evaluate the patient, patient from the front and we see is the hairline the way it's supposed to be. Nicole has beautiful hair, so this is just an, exa an example. Okay, so her hairline is normal. And then I say, what does the part look like? She has a normal part here, and it's not widened. When you have some hair thinning or hair loss, this part will be a little wider. You'll start to see more scalp than you normally would. And we'll make sure it's even from side to side. So I just go through her scalp, looking at the parts. I look at this part, area of the scalp, the temporal area, to make sure it's not too thin. Most people have a little bit thinner hair here. It gets a lot of styling stress. Okay, what we might do is run our hands through the hair and see if she's got any extra hairs coming out, and she really doesn't. If people have shedding hair, you may get about 10 hairs or so when you do a hair pull test. And then we may take a couple individual hairs and tug on them to make sure that the hair's strong. The other thing we'll do is look at the back of the scalp to make sure that the part in the back is about the same as the front. Most people are a little bit thinner on the top than they are in the back. And of course, we look at the actual scalp itself. Do the hair follicles look normal? Is there any flaking or bumps in the scalp? And are there any patches of missing hair or scarring that we see? Mm -hmm.